Everyone that played was a factor in this one tonight. You hold Toronto to 36 points there in the second half. What stood out you in tonight's performance? Uh, just that, you know, I thought the defense was obviously really good. I thought, uh, you know, Siakam had his 10 free throws all in the first half. And then I thought we really showed a lot of great help on him in the second half and, and held him in check. Uh, and then it was a team effort. You know, we got contributions uh, from all the nine guys tonight. I thought we really played together, really competed. Uh, that's an aggressive, tough team that you have to play connected basketball against. And I thought we did that tonight. Barry Trammell, the Oklahomans. Uh, yeah, Mark, you guys dominated the boards. Uh, it was 18, uh, 19 to 9 offensive rebounds, second chances. What was it about your rebounding? that was so uh, exceptional tonight? Well, I thought on the defensive end, a lot of it was just our positioning. You know, we, we did a good job of keeping ourselves out of rotation. Uh, so we were man on man for a lot of their uh, missed shots and, and we were able to clean up the glass. I thought Speed did a great job on the glass defensively for a guard, K. Rich, obviously, Moses. Uh, and then on the offensive end, I just thought, you know, it's a good barometer of our competitiveness. You know, I thought we just made Great extra efforts um, and kept balls alive. Isaiah, K. Rich, V. Justin had a couple of them. Um, I'm sorry, Moses. Um, and, and, you know, I just thought we went after it. You know, it, the competitive level was really, really good for 48 minutes. Wasn't a perfect game, but we just kept competing. Is that, have you been fairly pleased with that most of the season? The, the competitiveness as it shows up on the, on the glass? Yeah, I mean, the offensive glass, I mean, Moses is definitely a factor with that. We've learned that over time by having, like, Adams and Cantor here. You know, a lot of your offensive rebound, even Westbrook, a lot of your offensive rebounding is a byproduct of your personnel, uh, and Moses changes the game there. He's a real factor on that end. But uh, I think generally I've been really pleased, you know, all season with just the competitive spirit of the team and how together uh, these guys are willing to play. And that's not constant and... We have slippage just like any other team, but uh, we're quick to reconnect to our competitiveness and we're quick to reconnect to each other. And ultimately, that's, you know, the identity that we want to have as a team. We want to be a team that competes and plays together. Paris Lawson, OKCThunder.com. Okay, Coach, you talked about the team effort. Uh, I wanted to ask specifically about Darius Miller, Justin Jackson, guys who haven't played in a stretch of games here, and those are the two guys off the bench who logged double figures. What did you like from what you saw from them tonight? You know, just that, the readiness, you know, is it, it's a barometer of professionalism, you know, when you, your number gets called and you're ready to play. And those guys have done that all year. I mean, they've been ready every time we've gone to them, and so tonight was no exception to that. Uh, but, you know, I give those guys a lot of credit for keeping themselves ready. Like I said, it's, it's a high, high level of professionalism. And to stay mentally engaged enough that when your number gets called, you're ready to jump right into the competition, you know, it takes a lot of mental toughness. I give those guys a lot of credit. Play front, Associated Press. Uh, Coach, even with all the injuries, you guys have been playing well lately for maybe three quarters or so, and then teams have pulled away late. Uh, how nice is it to see you guys close this one out and be rewarded? Well, tonight I thought we did it with stops. You know, we were a little sloppy offensively at times, but uh, we just we, we kept them off the scoreboard and, and, you know, held them to one shot per possession down the stretch there. Um, and I give Teo a lot of credit. I didn't think Teo played great. Uh, in the game, he had a couple plays that he was frustrated with. He's kind of a perfectionist, and and tonight didn't go uh, exactly the way that he wants. They really pressured him. They forced him uh, directionally to his weak hand the entire night. And, and so there was a lot of adversity in that game, and then he checked back in with about five minutes to go and was really steady down the stretch and, and really managed the possession game for us and did a hell of a job of just kind of staying engaged. Uh, and that's, you know, we talk about 48 minutes all the time, but it's easier said than done when when you have to fight through adversity, and I thought Teo did a great job of that tonight. Nate Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Hey Mark, what did you think of Svee's night, uh, especially that flurry there in the in the fourth quarter? I think he had 10 straight for you all. Yeah, I mean, he obviously can really score, but the thing that's been most impressive about him is how complete of a player he is. You know, we're, we're still learning him, um, and one of the things that, that you know, our scouts – you know, told us when we when we got him, when we acquired him, was that uh, he's a basketball player and that there's a lot there on both ends of the floor and that he's more versatile than maybe he gets credit for. And that's definitely shining through right now. You know, he 
really competed defensively tonight, you know, and this is the night after guarding Doncic uh, for a lot of the game. And then, you know, on the offensive end of the floor, you know, he obviously made some shots, but he also, you know, he catches a lob, he put the ball on the floor and found the weak side. Uh, he's a really complete player, you know, and, and has a runway as a player as well. He can get a lot better. Uh, we still think he's pretty, you know, early in his developmental track, and we're going to allow him to keep exploring all facets of his game. But, you know, the shooting tonight was on display. Jerry Ramsey, the franchise. Coach, with the uh, league trending towards all five players being able to extend out in the perimeter, uh, you played a couple of bruisers, uh, some minutes together quite a bit, Roby and Brown. Was that just a matchup with the Raptors that you thought this would work, or do you think that the NBA can trend towards, uh, you know, more low post play? Well, the biggest challenge of playing, you know, more traditional bigs is usually defensively. Uh, and as we talked about Roby, you know, Roby's guarded Jalen Brown, Dylan Brooks, Porzingis, and now Siakam in about a week's time. And so the defensive versatility of Roby allows you to play him really on defense in any lineup uh, and on any matchup. He is a, he's a very, very rangy defender in terms of who he can check and how effective he can be. Uh, and then that's the challenge for Moses, to be honest with you. You know, that's where he really needs to focus and improve is, you know, being able to guard a really, really diverse group of centers in the NBA. Because some guys are like Baines that are more bruisers and play around the paint. And then some guys are like Couché that are more perimeter oriented. And, and Moses needs to have all the skills uh, and Bradley. You know, those guys need all the skills um, on the defensive end of the floor that allow them to match to a lot of different players. Um, and the problem isn't offensively. You know, offensively, Moses is all over the glass. He's a real problem down there. Obviously, he scores and is productive. Um, and so we're not going to just settle. You know, these are good players, and we're going to try to figure out how to give them a skill set that can adapt to the league as it stands right now and then continue to work with them on that and see how far we can take them. Thanks, Coach. Daniel Bell, Black Sports Online. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned that you uh, guys played a little sloppy on offense and without – pretty much all of your playmakers and being a, such a young team, is that somewhat expected? Um, you know, I think there were some plays tonight that, that we could learn from, you know, I, I wouldn't just build that into the expectation. Uh, and I'd be honest with you, you know, like, obviously we have a lot of primary playmakers that we've seen that weren't out tonight, that weren't in the lineup, but we expect every player on the team to be a playmaker. We want the ball to move. Um, and we want everybody to be aggressive and play for the team. And when you do those things, when you're aggressive and you play for the team, that's really what a playmaker does. Playmaker, you know, puts pressure on the defense and then can make plays for others. And I thought Isaiah did that tonight. I thought Speed did that tonight. Obviously, Teo. Uh, Moses Brown, you know, they trapped Teo late game. or They trapped uh, Speed late game. We threw it out to Moses, which is not a comfortable position for him. And he found Teo for a wide open three. And so uh, it's an expectation if you're on the court for us that, you know, you compete and you play with the team and that if you have the ball, you're a playmaker. It doesn't matter who you are. We're playing team basketball and that's, um, you know, what we expect of our guys and that's how we get the most confident version of our players.